Welcome back to my channel, you guys. My name is Kelly Denise, for everyone who didn't know. And if you are here and you're new to my channel, thank you for coming. Thank you for clicking on the video. But can I get you to go ahead and hit that subscribe button for me, please? Thank you. All right, you guys, let's get into the content, okay? You all clicked on this video because you all want to see my updated face washing routine, okay? I'm no longer using Cetaphil as I was in my previous video uh, where I showed my face washing routine. So now I will be showing you all like my updated face washing routine. The serum that I will be starting to uh, use, uh, the actual soap that I'll be using, and the actual face washing spin brush, okay? So stay tuned. All right, you guys. So I will still be using uh, this spin brush here by Yamiko. I will have to link that down in the description box below. I did purchase it off of Amazon, you guys. And I prefer to use the silicone uh, bristle applicator here, okay? Versus the um, the actual bristles, okay? I do this here like once or twice a week, but on an everyday basis, I use this silicone brush here, okay? All right, so basically, we'll start off by, if you haven't already, go ahead and get something to tie your hair back. We don't want to mess up our hair beauties, okay? We're working too hard on trying to get this hair to be right how you want it. We just want to wash our face. We're not trying to get a new hairdo, okay? So what we'll be doing, go ahead, get something, tie your hair back if you haven't already, okay? Something to keep stuff out of the way, out of your face, okay? We'll also go ahead and wash our hands, okay? This is the first thing to cleaning your face, okay? We're going to wash our hands, get all the germs and stuff off of it. I 
All right, you guys, so I'll be using cool water to rinse my face, okay? That'll be helping to close my pores, but you know, it'll be warm water the entire time while washing my face. All right, you guys, so I just finished using the witch hazel all over my face, and I'm now trying to allow my skin just to dry a little bit before I start applying this serum. Um, but I did pick this serum up from Walmart by Sarave. All right, it's a resurfacing retinol serum. It's supposed to reduce the appearance of post-acne marks and pores, and it's supposed to help restore the protective skin barrier and improve skin smoothness, okay? This is a serum, all right, you guys? So you will follow up with it using a moisturizer, and the moisturizer that I'll be using is this Sarave Moisturizing Cream. So I use the cream if my face is like feeling like more dry on, um, you know, like more colder days or whatever, but if it's throughout the day, I normally just use this here, this daily moisturizing lotion on my face, okay? All right, this is what the container here looks like out of the box. All right, so once your skin has dried, I will go ahead on and use this here and I'll go ahead and apply this to my skin. All right, it says to apply evenly to face daily, avoid contact with eyes and lips, okay? This of course, we know that already. All right, so let's just go ahead and um, apply that to all the areas that I feel as if it, I, I have marks, okay, that I am trying to get rid of, I've been trying to get rid of them, okay? But I also think that I was causing some of my scars on my face, like I think I was causing pimples on my face by using the coconut oil that I had started using. Um, it was a, I'll show you the oil here. I was using this moisturizing body oil. I was using this here on my cheeks, my forehead, thinking that I could clear the marks and some type of way I feel as if I may have been creating more problems than a little bit. So I have now refrained from using it. I'll be using this hair serum from here going forward, um, unless it gives me some type of irritation or something of that nature. So I'll come back in about two weeks and I'll show you all the updated, um, my updated you know marks on my face so you see y'all uh, right now i do have blemish marks here from bumps well pimples of course and then here um and here so my cheeks and my forehead all right so i have applied the serum and i am also applying this moisturizing cream to my face and that will be it for me. I don't, I'm not going to be doing anything else. I showed you the soap that I use. Um, afterwards, I follow up using some witch hazel. Then I go in with the serum and finish off with this uh, moisturizing cream or the lotion. Okay, you guys? So, it's just that easy. Um, if you all suggest any different type of serums to help with the uh, blemishes, please go ahead, leave them in the comment section below. I am open to any and everything, okay? Just trying to get it right. Um, it feels good now to not have any newer breakouts um, within the last week. It's just trying to actually heal it. So since I've stopped using the cocoa um, oil, I haven't had any breakouts, you guys. So let's just see, okay? Um, at first, I wasn't, the uh, cocoa oil is not, what can I call it? Non comeo. Let me see here. So I can pronounce that correctly. It wasn't non comedogenic. Okay. 
whatever. It won't clog your pores, okay? This will not clog your pores, but the oil, it didn't have that specification on it, and I think that's what was clogging my pore, clogging my pore, blah, blah, blah. I cannot talk to that, what's going on? But yes, I think that's what was clogging my pores, okay, you guys? But as of right now, using the serum and the moisturizer, I actually feel pretty good, pretty moisturized, I can tell you that much, all right? so. If I have any irritations or anything like that, I will definitely keep you all updated in the know, all right? Until next time, be easy. Everybody be safe, okay? Happy holidays once again. Subscribe if you haven't already. Like the video. Go ahead and share it with someone if you know that they're looking for an updated routine. Hey, go ahead and share the video. All right, until next time, you guys, be safe and happy holidays. Stay tuned for your motivational quote. When you are happy, you enjoy the music. But when you are sad, you understand the lyrics.